So look at some close up. It's dry, pretty dry. And you're going to see there's still a few little streaks here. And this last coat, and I don't even care if it still shows through after this, this is the last coat because uh, I'm called the impatient painter for a reason. Anyways, I'm going to, this should clean it all up. And then I'm going to uh, let it dry and I'm going to actually put a coat of a, like a sealer when I'm done. And I'll let you see that. That should be the last step, except that you probably want to see the room it's going to go in. And I don't know, that'll be my great reveal when I'm done. Although, who's ever done with the room, right? You think you're done and you always... I, I'm not going to say you. I always find things because my brain wants to go, oh, that would be really cute. Okay, that was not good. Um, so, um, I'll let you see. Not the, fi the this final reveal as it's going to get in the room that it goes into. Uh, when I'm done and I keep feeling this the brush is getting loaded with a lot of paint and so it's getting really wet and it's causing it to scrape against this thing so I'm just got to be more careful I guess you could either change out your your uh, brush and you can use a regular brush with this too like if you had a little uh, there you go there, there's your little problems I may have to touch that up at the end because the more I hit it the more the paint wants to keep coming up. So for the project this small, I, I've had this paint for a while. I've used it on other things, but uh, I haven't hardly used any at all. Even a, a pint would be plenty for the entire thing. If I was doing the entire thing, not just the edges of it. So this is going to be the last coat on the top. I'm going to let that dry a little bit, that mess up part a little bit, and then I'm going to hit it when I get through with the edges and all of that. Um, and so let me show you some of the front of it here, kind of what I'm doing still. So if you see, it's gonna look like that. This color is gonna stay this way and then I'm gonna have that in between there. And I'm hitting in here. I don't have to go any further in than that because it's not gonna show up anyways. And so I'm pretty happy with the way it looks through here um, and I'm getting underneath here I'm not really if you can't see it I don't freak out too much about it or I guess I don't concern myself enough to fix it oh this keeps happening I'm gonna have to get another brush okay so um, and then you see the legs I've done the legs I put a little bit of tape there because I'm trying to make it look really good just because you guys are watching uh, sometimes I don't, I'm not that precise. I don't put tape on there. I just try to edge it. And then you can see it when you open it up. But maybe this is why I, I need to do this so that I actually do a little bit better job than I typically do. So uh, I'll keep touching up these little edges here. And so I like, I like it. I like how it's coming together. Um, so finally, after this, I'm going to use another brush. I'll toss this thing because it's starting to have negative effects on all the paint it has on it. And uh, so the other thing I wanted to show you as I'm finishing up this last coat on here, you can see there's still some streaking through there. It looks kind of nice, though. I mean, you know, you have to decide if you want like a perfect solid black thing. And I actually don't even know if I do because I kind of... I like a lot of wood grain, and wood grain is in style right now. But uh, you could even sand it afterwards. I'm not quite looking for that sanded, you know, style like that, uh, and showing some of the wood grain through it. But I think just because I want to get it in the room and I want to be finished with it, I'm um, not going to play around with it that much. And that's like most projects I have. I typically I'm just like trying to get it done, and I want it done. And I want it to, I want to look at the room and keep staring at it as I walk by the hallway and go, "Oh, look at it, it looks neat in there." So um, the other project I had talked about was this. Uh, it's like a pie cabinet or a china, little china cabinet uh, here in the background, and I painted the inside of it already. And I, uh, okay, so far my theory on paint, you know. I've used 
Anne Sloan and CC and whatever. I've used every all kinds of brands and honestly I'm not too particular depending on where you're using it because I know sometimes some paints chip off or whatever but um, I'm not you know actually I, I don't I'm don't like spending a lot of money on paint so uh, I'm using Rust-Oleum because that's what I have available on this thing here it's a it's a chalk paint I'm gonna show you it and uh, it's this, it's called Linen White, which it might be too white for me. I wasn't planning on putting a glaze on this one, but because I, I don't mind it for the inside. I'm going to leave it this color for the inside because I don't feel like glazing the inside. Uh, but I'm using it for the inside, and I'm probably going to, this is still a little damp, so i got to let that dry for quite a while longer. And... Uh, and then another little cheap thing I like to do is when I'm using, in the middle of using brushes, and a lot of you probably already know this, is you just wrap it up in a little baggie like this and it keeps it dry. But right now it's so humid, it's staying this way. Ah, this is a black one I use for the outside too. So I'm going to set that there, but I also painted the shelves that go inside there just because they're not going to be that, I'm not that particular as far as the color of the inside of it is going to be because it's a bookshelf, so it's going to have books and knickknacks so you're not going to really be able to see that much of it so this is going to be the final coat and i will be back with you when um it dries and i'm ready to do the um polyurethane uh finish on it and then here i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i can put a little bit of, a little bit of a stain on the top of it and i'm still going to polyurethane it too just to keep it make it look a little bit crisp, right? We're making it look nice. And uh, I think that's it. And we'll see you in probably 30 minutes or an hour.